Hello, hello, TBC here here and, uh, for, for a moment to begin. Uh, for the people in the audience, who here has actually heard of Fort Boyard before actually coming to the marathon? <laughs> Yay. All right, so for those that don't know, this is a game show that has aired since 1990 in France. Uh, it is created by Jacques Antoine. Uh, the Crystal Maze is a sister show to Spike coming first. We'll get to that. And uh, we're going to be playing the very first for, uh, video game based off the franchise, The Challenge. It came out in 1996. It takes the first years of the show from 1990 to 1995 and puts it in a very interesting package. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually think this is a good game. Uh, as a four, Not just as a Fort Boyard fan, but it is the best game in the video game franchise for the series. But yeah, we have a donation incentive, or the bid war. What color won? I think it's magenta, but I just want to make sure on that. That is correct. It is indeed magenta. The entire bid war raised $760, but magenta wins at $290. So get that magenta shirt on, TBCR. All right, here's a fun fact. Uh, all the other shirts are extra large. This one was only in large, and I went all throughout the county that I live in to find this. So, uh, yeah, okay, Spockling, can you please hold my uh, headphones and you two can introduce yourself while I'm putting a shirt on. Yeah, uh, so on my side, I'm Nietzsche, and uh, I've never seen this game, but uh, since I grew up in Belgium, I've seen the show since I was a kid, so I was really curious to see this one <laughs> because, yeah, these games have usually uh, a reputation. And I'm really glad that we that we are seeing a lot of French culture in this awful block this year. So, um, I'm Swag116, and uh, for about 11 years, I've had to put up with uh, TBCR's Boyard posting shenanigans. And, and, uh, and for that, you are the master of the records, because this game has a lot of memorization to it. One particular test we don't want to get, and uh, Spockland has the layouts. But with that said, we're also going to select Magenta here. And uh, you know what? Let's just put Teebs here. There we go. And uh, the game doesn't start just yet. We have an opening cutscene. Get excited. All right. I wonder what the contestants are like. So this is Father Force. He is the uh, guardian of the fort. And at the current time of recording, the master of the fort in the recent series. Who is that coming? Hmm. They seem a well-rounded lot. But will that be enough? <laughs> come in. Come in. Don't mind if I do. All right. So I am going to at least uh, start with the opening to the show. Now, the music is slightly off sync with that, but that's, that's just fine. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to explain the rules, and we're going to then watch the game explain the rules. Uh, the translations in this game are absolutely fascinating. So uh, I will have 75 in-game minutes, uh, technically real-time, to collect seven keys. And then after that, we're going to do some council duels. And then with the time left in the estimate and in the game, I must collect clue words to figure out a code word to release the forged treasure. Now, that may seem a little bit easy, but uh, you know what block this is. It, it's not going to be easy. But with that said, let us now hear the English voice acting. Here is a fine looking team. There are seven keys, and then you must face the council. You will become time runners. Then, much later, you will seek the clues to the password that will let you enter the treasure house. You can even now dream of the success of this adventure. A gong will mark the beginning of the 75 minutes. All right, get ready. Gong, go. All right, so we begin the game in phase one, the quest for the seven keys with some adorable tigers and the riddle of Father Forest. Now, there are 50 riddles in this game, and I have to remember which riddle Father Forest is about to talk about. But for the interest of the viewers at home and for the audience, I will be letting the riddle play out in full. And if I somehow don't get it, they can yell at me for not knowing it. Uh, feel free to yell out the answer if I just don't know. Like, I don't mind if I'll do that. Alright. White and black are not the same. Of its charms, one must beware. It wanders and runs to most our games. To others, it's the devil's fair. 
I had a brain for it. I knew what this was up until like the second verse. Okay, so uh, it's not zebra. I know that for a fact. Oh, no, and let's see. If I don't not. get it from the first half of it, then Father Forrest will repeat the riddle. If I do not get the key, then we get to watch an amazing swimming cutscene where a man uh, turns into a different person, grows hair, and then gets a haircut while swimming. Uh, I'm not joking about that. Just you may see that. All right, so, uh, Father Forrest, can you please repeat the riddle for me? Anytime now. <laughs> Come on. Come now. Oh, thank you. Say something. White and black are not the same. Of its charms, one must beware. It wanders and moms to most our games. To others, it's the devil's fair. The devil's fair would be cards? No, the ca oh, the cards. No, Sometimes it's very specific uh, with plurality and other stuff. You know what? I, th I don't honestly know. Do any of you know? You can yell it. I don't, I don't mind. Dice. Dice. Come, come. No, sorry. <laughs> I guess we're gonna swim. Eh? Yeah, we're gonna swim for the key in the sea. Oh, get out of here. Go back down while I throw the key in the sea. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we race down with our uh, shirt and then we're going to uh, slip and fall into the water. Ah! <laughs> now, as you can see, we grew hair. Uh, through the uh, process of falling down, we were so scared we grew like four, four inches of hair. And uh, we're going to be swimming for the key. Now, hopefully we don't get dragged back a couple of uh, feet here. Oh, no, it happened. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to swim a bit more. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I've had had this happen four times in a row during run one. Yeah. One run. And uh, oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? Come on. Why not? Dr. Forrest's wild ride. Yep. Father Forrest's wild ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, there's the key. All right, so now we get to swim back to the fort. We get to climb the rope net. And, uh, oh, I, yeah, I think we do need a haircut there. All right, paddle. Very nice. Good form. We're approaching. Got our haircut. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we just got to climb up. Okay, so now we have to go for six more keys. The first key is given for free, no matter what. It's just a time loss if you don't get the riddle. And uh, there's one test I don't want to get, and it is Rat Maze. And you'll know if we get it, because two things will happen. One, Rat Maze will happen, and two, I will groan. Uh, so anyway, Good, one key down, key. six to go. This time. I need a strong man. Oh, a strong man. Well, unfortunately, like I'm not that. Okay. So we have you cannonballs. Have this is kind of a tricky test on both the show and in this. So there is a key up at the top. There it is when the frame rate cooperated. And I'm going to have to take these cannonballs, and I'm going to have to knock it down to time. the grade. Uh, sometimes the physics is very wacky, and w the little puck there with the key will not follow where you think it will. Uh, on the show, at least in the early years, if you accidentally made the thing go sideways, you lost the key and you had to leave. Now, uh, one thing I have not mentioned about this is that if you've seen the Crystal Maze in Fort Boyard, you may know that if I am in a room longer than the allotted time, I get locked in. We don't want that. That induces an additional half section at the end of this. And yeah, just not bad. So I'm going to hit space and the audience can yell at me to get out if needed. Two keys down, five to go. Good, you've won another key. This time, I need Ooh. someone who is calm and collected. Oh, it's Rat Maze, isn't it? Here is quite nope, a the stirrups. Okay, so uh, this test is kind of finicky, and I'm going to give it at most five mistakes. Maybe we'll get it, who knows. But let's begin. So as you can see, the hooks are going up and down because that's how that works. And I'm going to try to hook the thing in. That's four down. Three. You still have time. So I need to time it so when it starts going back up, I attempt the hook. Oh, got it. Got two mistakes left. First cutscene. It's the part from the uh, intro show. Come on. Oh, one more to go. Nope. Okay, space, and now we're leaving the cell. 
Don't worry, we have a set list of tests. Sparkling, if you can show the front page there. Uh, the game randomizes which ones you're going to be playing. If you do not play them in part one, you will be playing them in part two, if we get to those. And the game randomizes what order they are in. Uh, if you skip a test, the odds of rat maze happening increases by one. Luckily, it's not in the second half, to a degree. Uh, that's a fun little trivia that I might get to later, if need this be. Time. All right, is this math? Let me explain. It's math. You let's go. We're doing math, math now. So All right, so uh, three, nine, four, eight, nine, four, eight divided by four. Uh, let's see, that is uh, nine. So it's three left over. Uh, 34, which is eight, so it's 32. So it's nine, eight. Nine, eight. Okay. Sorry, I'm actually like having to use the neurons in my brain for once today. Um, so, no. Okay. Luckily, we get three attempts at this, and if I don't get it, well, oh well, I don't get the key. So 48 and 96, that's easy because that is 48, 21. And then divide that by three, that's 1,000, and that's one left over, 1,607. There we go. Got the key. Don't you love how they photo, like, impose a color over the person's shirt like that? I really uh, like how you can hear your teammates scream. Behind the door. Good. Yeah, hitting the door. Yeah. Just making that distinct <laughs> rattling sound. Yeah. I love watching Fort Boyard because it's basically the, my equivalency of armchair quarterbacking. Uh, you're just yelling at the contestants for just making the most baffling choices with like performing the this tests and adventures. You will want a quick mind and a sharp eye. All right, well, unfortunately, I'm neither of those still, but luckily we have Ball and Plank, which is one of the easiest tests in the whole game. It's not the easiest, it's one of the easiest. All right, so I'm just going to roll the ball down here, ignore the fact that this looks very janky, and uh, we're going to just carefully, carefully, come on. Yeah! Got that key. Don't worry, we'll be seeing that exit cutscene uh, multiple times during this game. I think that one gets used the most out of all of them. Four. Good, you've won Three to go. Key. I forgot to mention there are creepy crawlies in this game. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. This time. All right, anyway, this, this time, time we get to have an automatic lock in. I must so get this in order to leave. Let's open. see. So this is a jumbo, eight letters, and I must un... You are caught. Okay. Uh, let's see. You have to find the right word to escape. I'm just going to put the keys on the door, and I'm just going to start moving them around. And then once it looks like a word in the English language, I'm just going to click on the door. You don't actually have to grab the key to leave the room, but you do have to at least get this right. Oh, baritone. Okay. That's what it is, baritone. Yes. Oh. The automatic lock-in tests always fill me with dread. All right. Five. Good, you've won another key. All right, we get to watch the adorable lizard. This there we time, go. You will want a quick mind and a sharp eye. Oh, that's a good sign. Parquet, I love parquet. So this is a 15, well, not a 15, it's a 25 puzzle. And what we have to do is we have to move these four little platelets here with little symbols on them into the middle. And they have to line up just right so I can get the key out. Fun fact, uh, Fort Boyard and the Crystal Maze shared tests between each other. And I believe this one was on Series 4 of the Crystal Maze. And uh, there's one particular performance of the test that was uh, very interesting. Uh, I would uh, say that you should watch it for yourself. I shouldn't spoil it. But yeah. We're just going to move these around. Hopefully, I move these in the correct fashion so I'm not wasting time. Heaven forbid I waste time in this game. All right, so uh, let's see. i got to think for a second. Neurons activating. While you're moving puzzle pieces around, can I jump in with a donation or two? Yes, indeed. In Slide fact, you probably can get like three of them in during this. Excellent. I will do so. We have $10 from Taxodium who says, had to donate during TBCR's run. Nice to see you again at GDQ. Frog Blast the Vent Core. Oh. Wait, wrong game. Have a good one, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Taxodium. We also have $10 from Martin Scores Easy, who says, Awful Block goes so hard. Wreck my sleep schedule, AGDQ. Oh. All right. 
And now we're at key, you guessed it, six. Good, you've won another key. All right, on to key seven where it springs rat maze on me. All right, we're going up. Could be archery. Ooh, I hope it's archery. That, that test is always fun to do. Could be uh, uh, alchemist. Could be a clock of the this chapel, even though that's not on that floor. qualities here are strength and endurance. Oh, we're in for fun. Have you ever been in the It's rat soldier? maze. This time, uh, you and face a All right, so let's explain floor. this uh, dystopian uh, nightmare. Wait, so see. there are seven layouts to this, and I must determine what layout it is through logical deduction. Now, Spocklin over here has the answers to the uh, quiz. Uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to look at it. And it looks like this is the easiest one, so we're not going to be in the rat maze for too long. Uh, there are two layouts that start with one door on the left. There are four that start with two both on the left and the right. And I think there are two that have... Oh, no, that would be six. There would be one with just one on the right. But yes, we're just going to head through here. We get to go through this fun FMV cutscene crawl fest until I reach this door. You know what I do with this door? I move over here. Oh, look, a bronze lock. Might as well open it. That's all I got. And uh, hey, we get a silver key, but it's not the key that we need. We have uh, to get a bronze, a silver, a gold key. We're given the bronze by default, though, and then we have to get the actual key, which luckily I know where that is. All right, so here we go. Just got to do a crawl fest. Come on. So given you have this maze kind of figured out at this point, can I read a few more donations while you're navigating? Yes, indeed, you can. Absolutely happy to. We have a $25 donation from Nicole, who must have some thoughts about the professor master of Fort Boyard, because he says, oh, look, it's Bargain Bin Saruman. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need to go forward a bit more. Um, Father Forrest is a really fun character. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, he's the master of the fort currently. He's also the designer of all the games on the fort. I think that's established in the first episode. So yeah, uh, Father Forrest, why? <laughs> do you have time for one more donation? Uh, yes, I do. We have $50 from Chudley who says, So excited to see TBCR on Awful Block again. You're one of my favorite runners, and it's always a joy to stay up obscenely late to see your runs on the big stage. Thank you, Chudley. And if you'd like me to keep going, I can definitely do that. We got some great Fort Boyard memories going on here. I think I have enough for maybe, considering the speed, three more donations. Absolutely, we'll do so. $20 from Polly Yesterday, who says, watched Fort Boyard decades ago on German television. Memories have to donate. Keep up these awesome runs. Oh no, I forgot I had to go up one more. Okay. Well. That's a brain fart for you. Good picture of some rats there, at least. Yeah, adorable little rats. We have a $500 donation from Peak Zorro. Yeah, let's applaud that, especially at this hour. Come for the awful block, stay up to help a good cause. Thanks for entertaining us all these wee hours of the morning. All right, so this is the correct door that I was supposed to go into. And we just got to get the red key. Looking on the hourglass at the bottom, which is my time for the test, I have a little bit left. Uh, you'll hear what sounds like kids, you know, saying, hurry up, you're out of time, you're doing great. Uh, that's my indication that I need to skedaddle from this test if possible. But luckily, we're doing pretty good. This should have the red key in it. And if not, then I have had the biggest brain fart of the evening. Come on, red key. Red key, ah, you're killing me here. Okay, so we're just gonna backtrack one. I didn't open that one, right? I uh, don't remember. <laughs> it's okay, just, Spockland, it just I'm, looks I'm, like the same thing over and over Spockland, again. <laughs> Spockland, I'm actually gonna ask you, is it, was it this door up here? <laughs> it's, it should be layout one. Yeah, it might be layout one, let's see. It's the one that has the, the, the silver key in the second door. It should be on the, uh, just directly down from the start. No, that's the exit. Oh no, my guide isn't helping Spockland. <laughs> oh wait, tunnel one. Oh, yeah, because you took. Oh, you put All it right, in the so there. it looks like we're almost about to run out of time, but that's fine. Yeah, I uh, can, I can get there. It's a little bit uh, left from the uh, start. Okay. Yeah, these ma these maze layouts can be a bit confusing. It also doesn't help that I haven't slept because it, you know run excitement. There we go. 
Let's, let's put the key in the lock and we got the key. We're done with phase one. And no lock-ins, very important. So what happens if you lose a character? Uh, we get to do Ratman, which uh, we were talking oh, prior to the run, the and the host was actually going to be able to pick what color we picked. So for Ratman, uh, the color would be red or black that would get picked. And uh, we would want to actually lose, because that's one less player for the second half, which makes this section a little bit faster. But we're already here, so it doesn't matter. So we're in the council duels. We're playing against the Masters of Games or the Masters of Time, depending on what era of the Step show you're like. And we're going to play six games. And when I mean six games, I mean the same three games twice. So uh, now, since this is basically where the run basically grinds to a halt, I need to kill time a little bit. I'm going to spam the space bar and hit the mouse button, and we're going to skip these tests if possible. Hopefully, the game doesn't decide or get wise to the event and force me to play this. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it looks really faithful so far to the show. It looks more faithful than like the more recent games. I've not played them, but those ones just I look like a, uh, a collection of mini games without uh, anything connecting them. Yeah. Um, the developer of the most recent Fort Boyard games is also the you remember that Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game? Oh no, it's forcing me to play them. Oh no. So you're in for fun. You get to actually see me attempt the council duels properly. Oh. See, during practice this didn't happen. No, no, you, you were able to skip them uh, without any problem. So At least that's the only bit of the run that I saw is like this part and the end. Yeah. So luckily, we are going to lose because they picked the red marble first. The first marble for the opponent is always going to be the correct one. Uh, just for reference, it's the farthest right one. So yeah, that's good. Uh, of these three te uh, council duels, the one with the 4x4 four four field, you'll see that when we get to it. Uh, I need to one. just not win that one because 25 seconds gets added for each council duel that is one, which is less time for us to actually find clues. And the fact that we're having to play this is going to be very fun time-wise. I don't know what that is currently, but uh, shh, don't tell me yet. All right, so we're just going to try to rapidly lose these tests. Step I'm good at doing table. that. While you're reading some, or trying to lose some games, can I read some winning donations? Yes, let's hear those winning donations. Awesome. We have a $10 donation from Ashikun who says, this video game needs significantly more former TV soap stars mocking the contestants. It doesn't feel right without them. The game is yours. We also have a $25 donation from Anonymous who says, Hey, never seen Fort Boyard in my life and I had to ask, What's up with the lizard between every challenge? Is that a thing? Is there a thing with the lizard? Uh, it's sock footage that the show sometimes uses when the contestants are running around the fort. Uh, you might see, be able to see more of that uh, in the second half of the run. We'll see uh, if I don't get the clue word immediately from the riddle. Step towards Fair the Fair enough. I should probably explain the history of the fort, shouldn't I? Because, yeah, again, oh. the show is mostly not known in the U.S. It did air in the U.S. It aired on Disney XD. Uh, it was the Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. And uh, it's the dual format, which I'm not a big fan of, but I understand its purpose. But uh, I'm going to let you read off another donation, because I think I kind of cut you off there for a second. Oh, no, you're totally fine. I just was waiting for you to see if you want to explain the history of the fort, because, yeah, this is not... Most you Americans did not see this show. I'm a game show nerd. I did, so... But we have a $5 donation from Queen Anne, on, who now, says, Rat maze, rat maze, rat maze. Okay, so the history of the fort. So this is an actual fort off the coast of France. It was built a little bit, well, it was built during the Napoleonic Wars. It wasn't finished until after the fact. Uh, and then it was used for various things, a prison, uh, a shipping, like, dock pier thing. And then it was left abandoned for about a good number of years. And then in 1967, I believe, it was in the movie The Last Adventurers, which it is featured in the climactic end scene of the film. I'm not going to spoil the plot to that. You should really watch The Last Adventures. It's a very exciting film. But in 1982, Jacques Antoine, game show creator, uh, had an episode of Treasure Hunt in France take place with the final location being Fort Boyard. And that stuck in his head for about six years where he decided, hey, wouldn't it be fun to make a game show on a fort? So he bought it and he started to construct it into a television studio 
He sold the fort to the French government for one, uh, basically a symbolic, one symbolic franc, and Step with the condition that they could use tape. the fort for making the game show. Around that time, uh, they filmed a pilot with Richard O'Brien, who you may know as the original host of The Crystal Maze, and Channel 4 wanted to make their own version of Fort Boyard. Well, unfortunately, the fort wasn't ready at that time, so The Crystal Maze was made as an alternative format to the show. Basically the same game, but presented differently. So, technically, Fort Boyard is the parent show despite airing five months after The Crystal Maze. It's, don't, don't think about it too much, but yeah. The show has been on the air for 30 years. It has had one U.S. special in 1993, uh, the Vendabona Classic, and 2011 and 2012 on Disney XD. Uh, and, and yeah, and in France we had at some point also a spin-off of, of it that, uh, that was taking place in a carnival. And uh, yeah, over the, over the course of the show it has evolved for so much. It's like now it really has characters with lore behind them and all that. So The, te the cells have theming in them now? Yeah, the, the cells are theming, yeah. It has really evolved over, over the course uh, of the show. And the games as well, since, uh, well, you had a oh, lot I of shovelware on the DS and we <laughs> Oh yeah, around the There, the there were a few uh, shovelware titles for that. I completely forgot. Um, so there were three titles for this game in the 90s. There was this, there was a point-and-click adventure game called The Quest, and then there game. was Millennium, which I, you, I may be learning that. S stay tuned. But, yeah. So this is the first Fort Boyer game that you are running, right? Uh, yes, it is the only Fort Boyer game that I know the full route for. And it is also, yeah, the first game that they made for the franchise. Oh, we're at the end of the Council Duels. I thank everyone for being patient through that. Now we get to see Passport 2 put keys in the locks on the door while a weird post is at the right. Can you please get that out of the way, please? I, I'm trying to see the, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the keys. I'm trying the keys. I need to see the keys in there. You, you're being distracting there, but okay. Now we can really get down to business. All right. Phase 2. More of the same. No, actually it's the Avengers, but it is actually more of the same. So the tests we didn't play in the first half of the run, which Spockland knows which ones those are. We're going to play it during the second half. There are some exclusive adventures during this, which you may or may not get to see. But before we do any of that, we have one more riddle from Father Forest. So come, let's take a gander come, or a listen. Up we go. Now, let's see if you have a quick tongue and a ready wit. Well, when we are above this clue, all is well. To hold this clue is to be sensible. When kept still, this clue can run deep. Well, you can't hold a river, so it's, uh, the river runs deep, but you can't really hold the river. So, let's see what the call. Oh, the yeah, call. To be honest, I'm really bad at this in French already, so in English at 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Don't count on me. <laughs> now, luckily... <laughs> I've already forgotten what I've said. <laughs> now, luckily, there are 28 riddles, and the they are all associated with a... Well, each specific riddle is associated with a specific clue word. Um, now, here's the fun thing. Uh, technically... Actually, I lost my train of thought. Let's, let's just try to guess the riddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting 4 a.m. brain fart right now. I apologize. We are above this clue, all is well. To hold this clue is to be sensible. When kept still, this clue can run deep. <sighs> it's not pride. No, no. All right, what do the people in the audience think it is? Think. Water? Unfortunately, I don't think Ga I don't think Gatorade would be the answer, but you know, it's, it's a good effort. <laughs> All right, that was the riddle. So now we at least have one code, one clue word, and we're gonna go for another one. Ignore the right button yet? We'll get the right button. All right, so more of the same. All right, so I'm hoping we get archery. I really want to show archery. It's such a janky test in this game. Come on. I wonder what they're looking at. Whoa! For this task, 
I want someone who is sharp. Okay, unfortunately right now I'm not pretty sure, but let's go. Oh no, this is the easiest one in the entire game. So fun fact, the solution to this is the exact same on the TV show as you're seeing me put it. That's really faithful. <laughs> Even funner fact, it's the same solution on the crystal maze as well. Good. You found another and people so, still don't get it. So from the start, I'm seeing you like, uh, you can select uh, which character you are sending, uh, if he's sharp or something like that. Yeah, yes. What oh, Ryan! Oh, sorry. What difference does that make? Uh, absolutely none. Because <laughs> you have to remember, this is a party game. <laughs> For this task, I need an agile contestant. Nope, not agile either, but anyway. Right, oh, good! Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go! Yeah, yeah I've seen that one. First try! Let's go! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well done. Good. So a good you way of telling if you didn't make it is the game will actually physically move the arrow like at the last second. Uh fascinating. Take a few oh, bat. To okay, so we got water, we got bat, and we got Ryan. Oh. Oh, to think about Ryan. All right, so we're going down the stairs. Hope we don't trip. Snake's just cruising along there. For this just cruising. Task, All right, I come want on. Someone who is sharp. All right, uh, for the people at home, please turn your headphones oh, down. Uh, three, two, one, you've been warned. Okay, so uh, this is the test of the headless woman. Uh, we have to take this little puck here and get it to the other end of the room. Now, if I take a wrong path for some reason, you're going to get a wonderful feedback noise. Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on, okay. There is only one path to it, so we have to use logical deduction to figure out exactly what that path is. Unfortunately, our ears have to bleed as a reason. What do you mean that's not the right way? <laughs> so what's... Hello? Is the backstory to this room? Because I don't remember uh, I think, it at all. I think you're trying to bring... Oh, hold on. Is there <laughs> no solution to this? Oh, no, hold the phone. <laughs> Are we going to have to leave the cell? You're kidding me. <laughs> Up. Go through. Oh, no, we made it. Okay. Okay. Hold it's not for over. a second. This could still over. be a dead end. Okay, it's not a dead end. All right, so I'm having to like frantically move the mouse. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. Yeah, but. the controls looks awesome. It's not. <laughs> and on my uh, computer at home, I'm having more issues because apparently my DOS box configuration is absolutely cursed. I actually had to submit the run on a separate computer and like capture the footage. But uh, I'd have to like do what I'm doing right now, but even faster. All right, so hopefully this is the right path. Good. We got it. Yeah. 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 All right, another clue. I knew we could count on you. Good, you found another clue. I think clue. the run's already overestimate, but I'm really wanting to get this riddle. Oh, this clue word. All right, let's see. What's the word? Come on. Take a few seconds win. to oh, think about Oh, did the we password. win? No, we haven't won yet. Okay, so win, water, bat, Ryan. Oh. Uh, Wind, water, bat, Ryan. Okay, one more, and then I think we're just going to have to, like, figure this out. <laughs> While we're running between rooms, do we have time for another donation? Yes. We have a $7 donation from Zaxi who says, Donating a dollar for each key. Let's start a $7 Fort Boyard train. That yeah, sounds like a, good, a good idea. That's a good idea. I think it's some $7, seven keys. It makes sense. Oh, we get a bird as well. Get a seagull. Get a seagull. task, I want an able-bodied soldier. Oh, do you now? Oh, good. I get to throw my arm out. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I gotta waste an arrow. Okay, ready? Watch very carefully. Oh, okay. I, I, apparently, we're just gonna waste another arrow. <laughs> okay. So, I've thrown my arm out. Um, and now, we're just going to aim in the middle there. You see a little notch there. And got it. All right, so this riddle, will, this clue word will not show up on the roster. It is baseball. All right, so good, you found another. We have clue. baseball, we have water, about the password. we have win, we have bat, and we have Ryan. I am completely clueless. What do you two think? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't see. Uh, Wait, I heard someone say something. What was it? Home run.
Pitcher, okay. Pitcher, okay. Well, in that case, we found double exclamation Everyone point. To the treasure house. Okay, so here's the fun fact. If we're wrong, the run's instantly over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it has a funny animation if we do get it wrong. I will say that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to the treasure room. We have the letters on the board, and we're going to have to spell them out. And uh, let's see. C, H. Oh, no, I'm out of people. What did I do? Oh, no, wait, we got cannonballs. We'll just put that right there. And we're going to turn the tiger's head and... I mean, we don't have baseball in Europe, so nobody plays that. Okay, I figured that out. Hey! hey, hey. GG! We got the treasure. And now we get to collect it on... Uh, well, to be honest, we don't really have to, like, click on anything. This is kind of like the in-game equivalency to an auto-scroller. You don't really have to do anything. We can do it stuff. We can click on uh, the fun characters, and they run towards the gate, and they put the money in. You get to hear a wonderful sound. Now, the run ends as soon as the last contestant leaves the room and it shows them, like, jumping for joy. So oh, we are yeah. at the end of this. So uh, let, should we do shout-outs now? Yeah, I think it's a good time. You're a little bit of a stimulus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So ultimately, we need to thank AdventureLine Productions and the late Jacques Antoine for creating such a wonderful game show for me to be obsessed with for almost, uh, what is it now, 14 years? Uh, also, shout-outs to the people in the Boyardesk speedrunning community uh, who put up with me just constantly Boyard posting, as I like to call it. And uh, thank you, Spocklin, for dealing with my uh, Boyard posting <laughs> for 11 years now. Uh. All right, so we just got to wait until the end. So how did you discover this show 14 years ago? YouTube. YouTube. And Obviously, it's, it's got to be YouTube. It's like, like because, And it uh, wasn't even like a full episode. It was like, uh, was it, Fortboyard.net, they had like the clips of the tests. And I was like, this is interesting. Because it's really the, the kind of stuff that, I mean, I never imagined would actually go, I mean, be, be known outside of Europe. Because, I mean, it's so specific as a show. Yeah. I mean, I am also like a big game show fan in general, so this me finding this was almost inevitable. Yeah, it has a pretty strong theme to it. So. All right, oh. so we have 40, 46 seconds left. You know what, just, we're just going to make them all go. There we go. Oh, no, one came back. Hold on. No, you, you're going back over there. So does that change the amount of money you gain at the end? Or I have no end? earthly clue. <laughs> so while we're gathering gold here and waiting for the end, can I read another donation or two? Uh, yes. I think you can get two quick fire ones out of the way. Awesome. We have a $15 donation from Omax who says, Greetings from the audience. Here's a couple bucks for your next aquatic haircut. <laughs> and we got $50 from Tombs. Hope I got that right. Sorry if I got your name wrong. Right. Not going to lie, this in-depth niche game show history lesson is fascinating and an extremely welcome and unexpected surprise for a speed run. Speaking of unexpected surprise, the mysterious seventh contestant. Time. Oh, I know that's overestimate, but how much was it? <laughs> Four and a half minutes. Yep, 34.22.5 on my timer. You know, considering we got Rat Maze and we had the... We had to do the council yeah, duels. we couldn't skip them. We couldn't skip that. Uh, it, I love how it waits until I'm actually on stage to actually do that. I think a good lesson to learn is that uh, doing math and uh, figuring out riddles at 4 a.m. is a bad idea. <laughs> and on that note, I hope everyone has a good rest of the off block, because I know I am. Uh, my name is TBCR. Uh, you can definitely follow me at the uh, little thing there. Also, there's the obviously the link to my stream on the schedule. But yeah, uh, have a good night or morning, wherever you're. You know, it's time zones and whatnot. Time zones, indeed. Thank you so much, TBCR.